Hey everyone, Darren Belanco, founder of OnlineThinking.net. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a customized WooCommerce checkout page and thank you page using a page builder like Elementor or Beaver Builder. Let's get started. So the plugin we are going to use in order to customize our WooCommerce checkout page and thank you page is a free plugin called Cartflows. So you can head over to your WordPress plugin area and you can just search for the Cartflows plugin. You can install that plugin. And while we're waiting for this plugin to install, you must know that there is a free version of this plugin and a paid version of the plugin. The free version of the plugin does have some limitations and those limitations are where they don't allow you to have any upsells or downsells. And you are also only allowed to create three funnels in the free version of the plugin. So that's something just to keep in mind if you are going to be using the free version of the Cartflows plugin. So now that the plugin's installed, we'll just activate the plugin. And once that's activated, we're gonna start setting up this plugin to work as our WooCommerce checkout. So the Cartflows plugin has now been installed and activated, and you can see we are brought to their dashboard over here. So where you want to go to get this set up is First, just to the settings menu for Cartflows. Once we are in the settings menu for Cartflows, you will see they do have a setup wizard here, which you can just go and hit the start wizard button. Once you hit the start wizard button, you will see you are brought to this. You do not have to select this checkbox. This is just for data, but I'm going to select that. And then you can hit the let's go button. On the next page, you'll be given the option to select which page builder you're using on your website and which page builder you would like to use with Cartflows. So on this website, we are using the Beaver Builder plugin. So we'll just select the Beaver Builder plugin option there and we will then select next. And the nice thing about Cartflows is with each of the page builder plugins that you see in this list over here, they already have pre-built checkout templates and thank you page templates that you are able to use. And the Cartflows checkout templates are particularly nice because they have the apply coupon checkout box right there next to the checkout button. So it's a really nice looking checkout page and I found that it converts a lot higher than the standard WooCommerce checkout. So here's just the next step. It's just asking, while Cartflows is designed to use WooCommerce to sell digital and physical products, not all funnels need a checkout system. This, I would just select yes over here because that is saying that you would like to use Cartflows to sell both physical and digital products. So we'll just select that yes button. We'll wait for this to load. And then on the next tab over here, they are just making an offer for a training course that they have. You don't have to input your email here, so we're just gonna hit no thanks over there. And you'll see now Cartflows is now fully installed on our site, and we are able to start building our flows. But before we go and create a flow or a funnel or a checkout process on this website, we're just gonna hit the exit setup wizard over here because there are a few additional settings that I like to just change. So if you would like to use the checkout that we are about to build here in Cartflows as the default checkout on your entire WooCommerce store, there is a setting over here where we are going to be changing that and selecting it. However, if you want to create custom checkouts for each specific products or product categories on your store, you are able to do that with Cartflows. We will come back to this page over here and we will be changing this. The next setting you want to go down to here is just the type of permalinks that your site is going to have. So you'll see here that there's the default WordPress permalink, their flow and step, flow slug and step slug. What I would recommend is by just using the default permalink, but then what I like to do is I just like to take cart flows out over there and then I like to just change this to funnel and then just hit the save changes button. Once you've changed your permalink settings over here, there is one more setting that you just wanna go and double check is set correctly and that is under the settings menu and under permalinks. Because in order for this to work correctly and have nice URLs, what you want to have here under your permalink settings 
is just the post name because then it won't have all the other additional stuff like date and archives and things like that. So you'll select post name over there and then just scroll down to the product permalinks and we'll just select default over there and then just hit the save changes button. Right, once our permalinks have now saved properly, we can go back to cart flows and we can head over to their flows page. Now cart flows likes to call their funnels flows, but they're essentially the same thing as a funnel. And what you're going to do now is just hit the add next button and you'll see there are a bunch of templates that are already pre-built for you that you're able to preview and use. Now you'll see that some of the, the templates over here have their pro only, so that's for the paid feature and the paid version of the plugin. So right now we're just going to have a look at one of these templates for the site over here. So you can hit the preview link over there and you can preview the template first. And as you can see here, this particular template has a landing page, a checkout page and the thank you page. We are not going to be using the landing page because we are creating a global checkout for our WooCommerce store. And this is what the order page for this particular template looks like. And as you can see, that that's quite nice, and it's really nice that you can customize your checkout page like this. And we'll just head over to the thank you page. And what's really nice about this over here is, in WooCommerce, you're unable to customize your thank you page or your order received page. So if you want to create an additional offer, like a cross-sell or an upsell, after someone has already bought a product on your store, you're not able to do that. And that is quite a big missed opportunity on your store because your thank you page is one of the most valuable pages on your store because once a user has completed a form and landed on a thank you page or completed a purchase and landed on the thank you page, that is when they are the most engaged in your product or what you are busy selling them. So it is the best time to introduce a new offer or an additional offer which is great in conjunction with something that they have already bought. So the thank you page and changing what the thank you page looks like is very, very important for increasing your store's conversion rate. So now that we know what this template looks like, we can just head over back to this uh, page on our website here, and we can then just choose to import that template. Cartflows will now go and create our funnel for us, and it will inst import all of the steps, the landing page, the checkout page, and the thank you page. And then we will be able to go into those pages with our page builder and then edit those and tweak them to exactly how we want them to look. Our template for our flow has now been imported and we are now being asked just to create a name for this particular flow or funnel. So what I'm going to call this is global checkout. And then we can just go over here and delete the landing page because we are not going to have a landing page. And from there we can just go hit the update button so we can get our name of our funnel and our checkout saved. Okay, once we've saved it, we can then go into the individual pages over here and we can set these pages up and customize them some more. So we can hit the edit button over there. And we are now able to edit our checkout page. You will see there is the option to launch the page builder as you normally would be able to. But just down over here, if we scroll down to the bottom of this page, we'll see we've got a bunch of options here now for our checkout layout. And this is where you're allowed to edit and change the settings for your checkout. And in Cartflows over here, this is where you're able to create a checkout for a specific product. So if we wanted to have a different checkout for a specific product. In this field over here, this is where we would go and search for our products, and we can then select that product over here. And whenever this product is added to our cart or is in the user's cart, this is the checkout that they will see. Right now, we are gonna be using this as a global checkout, so we're not gonna need this option here, so we can just remove that product. And you'll see here in the free version of the plugin, a lot of these options aren't available, like the order bump and the checkout offer. However, what you are able to edit over here is the design of your checkout. So you can have a two-column checkout here, which is quite standard. And then you can go and change 
your primary color and the button color as well as a whole bunch of other things like your fonts, your font weight, your buttons. You can really update everything on your checkout page. So for the example that we are doing here right now, we're just going to change the, the button color to a nice orange color over there. And you can see we can then go and change the button text as well. So we can now go and say buy or we can say check out, check out now. And that is pretty much it. Then what you want to do next is just go and hit the launch Beaver Builder button. This is going to take us to the front end of our website where we can edit the design and the header and all the other elements on our checkout page. You will see we are now in the checkout page here and because we don't have a product in the cart you won't be able to see the checkout here now. So if that does happen what you're going to want to do is just hit the done button and then go back to the edit step and then just hit back to the back to edit flow. And what you can then do here is you'll see in the top right corner there's a flow settings box here where you can enable test mode. And what that will allow us to do is go and edit our checkout page on the front end and we'll be able to view the entire checkout as if there were products in the cart. So now that we've enabled test mode, we can go back into our checkout page and we can hit the launch Beaver Builder button. And you'll see here that we've got this notice here where it says no product is selected. However, we are still able to see our checkout form over here. And as I was saying earlier, you'll see here now in this cart flows checkout, here's the option for the coupon code right here on the checkout page. And I find having this coupon code box on the checkout page has significantly increased our conversion rates on our checkout page. So this is something that is really nice to have here. And it's nice that it's a free feature with cart flows. And as you can see here, now we are on the checkout page. And up top here, we can now go and edit the header here using our page builder. And we can go and change all of these settings here to fit within our client's theme. So what we can do here is go and change our backgrounds, go and change all our product headings, go and input some more information about maybe our checkout, maybe some testimonials here. And that is quite a handy feature. Once you've edited your checkout page here and you've done all the changes that you, you need for your checkout, what you want to do is go and hit the publish button and your checkout is now a nice customizable checkout page. The next thing that you want to go and do is edit your thank you page. Now the thank you page, as I was saying earlier, is one of the most valuable pages on your website. So you want to pay a lot of attention to this page and you want to make it look really nice and by using cart flows we are able to do this quite easily so if we go back into the cart flows the flow that we are editing which is our global checkout you can hit the edit button over there and you will see here there's some of the same options that you saw on the first step of this flow and there are also some additional fields over here much like the checkout page you'll see we can change the design of the checkout page by enabling advanced options like our container widths, background colors, heading colors. And we are also able to edit the fields that are displayed on the order details. So for example, if you're selling digital products, it's not necessary to have any shipping details because there aren't going to be any shipping details. We are able to now go and disable the shipping details from the order page or our thank you page. So you can go and disable that field, hit the update button, wait for that to update. Once that's updated over there, we can then just scroll up to the top over here and hit the launch Beaver Builder button again. Once again, we'll be brought back to the front end of the site we will be, where we will be able to edit our thank you page with our page builder. So as you can see, we're back in the front end here, and this is where the order details will be displayed. And here's a perfect example of why it's so important to go and edit your thank you page. On your standard WooCommerce thank you page, 
you would just have your normal checkout page heading and your order details and that's all. Here you can see there's a call to action where you can go and redirect users to your Facebook group or your Facebook community. And that's a perfect example of how you can then engage or redirect a user to one of your additional products or a community like your Facebook group while they are the most engaged and they have just made a purchase with your product. So this is a great example of why and how you want to go and edit your thank you page. So now that we are over here, we are just going to change the background here quickly just to match more with our, our client's brand. We'll go in here and we can then go and edit this however we like as you would a normal page on your website. You can hit done over there and then just hit publish. And as you can see, we now have our own customized thank you page. This one doesn't look quite right at the moment and is actually quite ugly, if I may say so myself, but we still need to spend some time on the design. And this tutorial was more just about the actual steps of how to create a thank you page. And while we are on the thank you page, I just want to bring your attention up here to the permalinks. And you will see this is why we selected the default permalink structure. So we get a nice, neat link over here just saying step thank you page, or it would say step checkout page. Now that we've created our customized checkout and thank you page, there's one more thing that we need to do before this whole process is going to work correctly. In Cartflows, because you are able to set customized checkouts for individual products or global products, there's still one more setting that we are going to need to change. Because at the moment, if we go and add a product to our cart, you'll see that we are still going to be redirected to the standard WooCommerce checkout page. And I'll show you that here now quickly. If we just go to proceed to checkout here, you'll see at the top, we are not using the cart flows link with a step and you'll see that this is not our customized checkout. So if you want to then use your customized checkout for all products, what you're going to need to do then is just head over through to your dashboard. And once you're in your dashboard, go down to the cart flows plugin and then back to the settings menu. Once you get to the cart flows settings option, you'll see you'll have the global checkout option over here. We came to this earlier and there was no option to select a checkout here. Now that we have created a checkout and we have a checkout page and a thank you page, we are now given the option here to select that checkout page as a global checkout. So if we go and select that page over there and we go and select changes, once that's saved, we'll then be able to use that checkout page as the checkout page for all of our products. But there's one last step that we need to go back and just disable before this is also going to work. So we're going to have to go back to our flows here. And initially we were just testing our flow out. So we had to enable the test option for the flow. So we're going to have to go back into our global checkout here quickly. And once we're here, we're going to have to just disable the test mode option on the right hand side. We can then go down here, hit update. And now everything is set. For this to be our global checkout, you can see over here, there's a blue little window over here which says global checkout, which is telling us that this checkout page is going to be used as the global checkout for WooCommerce. And if you want to test this now, what you can go and do is head over to the front end of your site and you can just pop into your store. We've already got a product in our cart here, so we can just go straight into checkout. And you will see now that we've set our customized checkout as the global checkout, you'll see we are redirected directly into our checkout. And you can see that that looks great over there. We've got our coupon field here. And all of these settings can be changed here with the labels and fields and everything like that. Thank you so much for joining us here once again today. If you got value from today's video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button below. And I'll see you again next week.